One would be play golf. That is absolutely an abundance of different golf courses in Thailand. Why I suggest golf is because golf is fantastic sport because it keeps you physically fit. You're out on the golf course walking around, okay, in the sunshine, in the light, okay. You also are socializing, you are with people, so you're interacting with other people as well. So it's like a social activity, so you're getting physical exercise and it's a social thing as well. Uh, I know some of the golf courses are quite expensive in Waihin, uh, it just depends. I think there's ones for each budget, so you have to just look around and try and find one that fits your budget. Okay, number two would be play some kind of musical instrument. Now I know this sounds funny, but just hear me out. Uh, I've just taken up uh, the harmonica. And I tell you what, it's fantastic because it, 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 yeah, I'm learning something so it's mentally stimulating me, but not, not that that's that good about it. What really has impressed me is when you play in the harmonica, you're breathing, so you're blowing in, sucking out, and you're moving around, blowing, sucking, blowing. That sounds funny, doesn't it? But it's the breathing, so it's getting your breathing going, uh, which it's like really, you know, meditation. It sounds weird, but it's kind of where meditation, when you're blowing in, puffing out, uh, it's you like your breathing exercises as well as learning an instrument. And I found it very, very relaxing and therapeutic, and it makes you very much uh, calm down and relax. I mean, I have suffered from all kinds of stress and anxiety for quite a long time now, to be honest, as I got a little bit older through many different re uh, different things happened to me in my life. Uh, and this I found really helps relax me. Yeah? Uh, so that's maybe something you could do, some kind of musical instrument that involves uh, using your mouth. So maybe not the piano. I mean, other instruments are great to, you know, uh, to do, but I think the ones that involve breathing are a really, really good way to go as you get a little bit older. I think everyone, as you get older, get a little bit more stressed, anxious, you know, just old age creeping up on you, just life events happening to you. Uh, that happens to everyone. So I think musical instrument, really good way to go. Okay, number three would be some kind of either playing pool uh, snooker, billiards, one of these kind of sports. Uh, I think they're fantastic in Waihin. There's so many different uh, pool clubs or, you know, places you can go to play pool with your friends, you know, and it's great for meeting people, uh, you know, and it, and then if you like to visit the bars, it gives you an excuse to go to the bars. But, but you know, it's more of a social thing. It's not just you're going there for a drink, you're going there to play pool or you're going there to play snooker. And most of the bars in Waihina have uh, little pool tables. So, you know, you don't have to be serious about it. It can be just a bit of fun. Uh, but that's, I think that's a great thing. I mean, when I go to Waihina, I always kind of play pool in the bars a little bit with, you know, meet up with some friends or something. Uh, I think that's a good way to go. It's a good way to meet some other people. And it, you know, it's good fun moving around the table and, you know, uh, practicing the shots. And it, it takes a lot of concentration, you know. And I think as you get older, you want something that stimulates your mind. And when you're focusing on hitting them balls in, you, you're not thinking about anything else. You're thinking about 100%, you know, snooker or pool. You're not focusing on anything else. And that is really good for you. You're focusing on one thing only. You know, that's what the Buddhist monks teach you, you know, just to focus on, you know, when you're doing something, just do one thing, one task. Don't think about, you know, something else when you're doing it. You just focus 100% on that task and that's kind of really good for the brain. Okay, so I think pool, snooker, billiard, something like this, because uh, it's quite difficult. <laughs> if you play snooker, especially snooker, snooker is ridiculously hard uh, to get good at. Uh, and it takes a lot of concentration to try and hit the balls in in snooker. So that would be a good one to do. That's number three. Okay, number four would be uh, trying to learn how to cook. I think this is what everyone should do as you get a bit older. You've got more time on your hands. Uh, food is, you know... Food is, you know, nutrition for your body, so it makes your body feel better. And m hopefully most of you understand this by now, uh, and I get a little bit older. I think as a younger person, even I didn't really get it. Uh, but normally people start to realize as you get older, food is absolutely critical to making you feel better uh, mentally, physically and everything. So uh, some kind of, you know, practicing cooking, maybe Thai food, learning how to, to cook Thai food, Italian food, whatever, you know, just learning how to cook some different foods. Uh, I think something you could do with your wife or with your friends.
things or you know you can do it on your own if you want to uh so yeah that's that would be another thing right number five would be chess chess is an amazing game and it's hugely popular in thailand they play it in all the parks all over the place they're playing chess uh so this would be a great way to go i mean it's you know you're interacting you're playing with someone else so it's a social event it's ridiculously hard you've got to concentrate so your mind's focused on it only the game again you're not thinking about other things you know if you're thinking anxious about something else that happened yesterday you won't be when you're playing chess you're just a hundred percent looking at the chessboard and you're like god because it's really hard to kind of especially if you're playing someone else who's a bit better than you uh so yeah it's really healthy for the mind you know really good for the mind uh so chess would be a, another great idea Number six, wouldn't be for everyone, but some people might like this, fishing. I think fishing in Wahine is very, very popular. Uh, there's a lot of places you can just go off, cast a rod out, and again, it's really relaxing. It's therapeutic. You're right by the ocean. You're just listening to the waves. Uh, normally, people go fishing on their own, but the, when you go fishing on your own, there's even, you know, there's always someone else like next to you or something, because normally you go first thing in the morning or last thing in the day uh, in the you know, before dark kind of thing. A lot of fishermen go out this time. So this would be another great, uh, great way to spend an hour or two, you know, uh, maybe once a week, uh, some kind of activity you could do. Okay, number seven would be camping. There's absolutely loads of campgrounds around Waihina. I mean, I've just come back from some, some of your, uh, national park uh, down that area and that's half an hour south of Waihin and you know there's people camping on the beach down there in certain places you can't camp everywhere you have to check that out don't just go camping anywhere but you know, there are places where you can camp around there's you know there's national parks and uh, some of the national parks you can't actually camp in you have to get permission or they have special areas where you can camp like Ngengajan uh, which is about an hour I think from Waihin but there's loads of places all over Thailand you can do camping and I, I know especially down Samboy Yacht there's a lot of camping goes on down there that area area there and Pranbury and you know there's a lot Pranbury Forest Park there's a, there's camping there you can do uh, so a lot of different camping places you can do and that's it's a good activity it's good fun you know normally go with a couple of mates or something have a barbie there and it's good it's good fun number eight would be bird watching I mean there's some fantastic nature around uh you know all around White Hing so much beautiful nature with lovely uh birds everywhere so uh, you know Take your binoculars, get some binoculars. There's like little tours you can do. There's, I think there's bird watching like groups you can meet up with. And you know, some of them areas, again, good jan around there, it's beautiful. There's so many birds, butterflies and different things you can see and wild animals and you know, lots of areas you could go off uh, bird watching. Uh, I think that's a great activity. Uh, not for everyone, but you know, the, the idea of this uh, kind of giving you some ideas is just, you know, pick a few that you might like, you know, <laughs> you're not going to do all 15, obviously, but, you know, pick some you like. Okay, nine could be learning Thai. Uh, I think, you know, every foreigner who comes here on a, you know, retirement visa, you've got time, you've got, normally you've got a pension, so you've got a little bit of money to be able to spend on doing things, hopefully. I, was, <laughs> I don't know why you're coming. Uh, so hopefully you've got a little bit of money to spend on, you know, some kind of private class or maybe a group class. I actually suggest maybe a group class because then you would learn more in a private class, but a group class, you're going to meet other people. You know, it's a social kind of thing. And I think learning a language is... Uh, if you're doing it in retirement, it's a bit for fun as well, you know, it's a bit of a social thing as well as learning, you know, you can have a bit of fun. And plus the bonus thing about that is if you're a Thai guy, you know, you're looking to meet a girlfriend or something like this, you get to start to know another Thai lady and then maybe she has some friends and, you know, it can introduce you to a load of other people, which is kind of cool, you know. Uh, so there's always them kind of doors open up when you start joining clubs and, you know, you start interacting with more people and, you know, even playing pool maybe you're doing it with some Thai guy you know Thai guys you've met and maybe they got some friends or, you know it, it's all kind of more people you kind of know and socialize with the more chance you're going to be able to you know uh, find a girlfriend or something if you're looking for this as well so that's, that's another reason to be honest you teach English for kids uh, I mean a lot, a lot of guys do that out here you know just volunteer teaching English for kids in different places in you know the temple or one or two other places you can do it uh, that's a good way to go. It's a good thing to give something back sometimes to Thai people here. Uh, so that would be another thing. Or just maybe just teach you some 
Uh, sometimes people do language exchanges, so you know, you do, you teach someone English for an hour and then they'll teach you Thai for an hour once a week or something, and this is a good way to go. Again, you're going to get to meet people, meet Thai people, real Thai. Number 11 could be drawing. I know my mum does drawing, actually. She's got a little bit older. She's got more time now. She enjoys drawing again. So as you go into retirement, I think drawing's a good thing to do. You have to concentrate. It's not for everyone, but, you know, some people really like it, or sketching, or drawing, or painting, something like this. Uh, it's a good way to go down to Waiheem Beach. You can paint the horses or you know, on the beach or all the other, you know, scenery around uh, Waiheem and, you know, around Waiheem, you know, there's mountains to the south and, you know, lots of things you could paint or draw, uh, you know, lots of opportunities. That's more of an individual activity, but good thing to do because, again, you're very, keeps the mind very focused on one thing, which is super important when you get a little bit older. Uh, number 12 would be like maybe some kind of motorcycle group because some I know a lot of people are into riding motorbikes or maybe cycling uh, some some kind of cycling group you could join or a motorcycle group that do tours around the country or things like this or just tours around the area go in a little gang and you stop off and have lunch together have a beer together maybe or <laughs> uh, but th that there's lots of I've seen lots when I'm traveling around little groups of motorbikes and you know again you know it could get you to introduce you to some Thai people as well which is good when you're living over here you know to interact with uh, not just in the tourist town you know get out and about and meet real Thai people about okay number 13 no. would be some kind of lifting weights I mean everyone as you get older I mean as soon as you get over 30 I mean you, your body starts disintegrating basically your muscles start getting less and you know so you just need to keep lifting weights you need to keep some kind of physical activity and not just running actually some kind of lifting some kind of weights doing something push-ups or pull-ups or just some kind of weight moving you know once or twice a week as you get a little bit older it's absolutely imperative that is uh, that's probably you know uh, one of the main things you should be doing as you're getting older uh, but that's something you can do in Waiheen there's loads of gyms I mean you can just do push-ups and pull-ups uh, you don't have to you know go to a full-on gym you can do that on the beach to be honest with you if you find a pull-up bar somewhere you just do chin-ups and uh, press-ups and it's good to go you know you're keeping a lot of you know strength around your chest and your shoulders and your arms and then do a few squats and you know good to go that'll do you don't have to do crazy amount of you know it can take 10 minutes you don't have to do much and so a lot of people make the mistake with exercise you have to do mountains of it you don't at all just a little bit often is better than too much i can tell you and when you get older that's even more important okay Okay, number 14 uh, would be maybe reading. You know, everyone should read. Uh, read as much as you can. Uh, you know, every day you should read a little bit or, you know, a couple of chapters of a book or something for half an hour. It keeps the mind stimulated, you know. Uh, just, yeah, keeps the brain focused on one thing again. So, yeah, that would be a good way to go. I mean, hopefully a lot of you read anyway, but, and, you know, I think a lot of people do is they get a little bit older as well. They have more time so they can, you know, digest a few good books. But, uh, yeah, it's the way to go. I definitely read more now. I'm going a little bit older. Yeah, 15 could be, I mean, you could be having, a, I'll give you a few more. I mean, you could be, could go have regular barbecues. You could, you know, do photography. Photography is quite uh, popular nowadays or videography, like, you know, YouTuber or this kind of thing, you know, now. Or, I mean, there's so many different things you can do. Uh, so, yeah, they're kind of the 15 different ideas gives you in retirement. I mean, the one thing you shouldn't do if you come to retire in Waiheen, you know, is sit in bars every day drinking, you know, that is okay for a bit, but believe you me, it gets boring when you do it every day. If you do anything every day, all day, it gets boring. And, you know, people come to Waiheen or come to Pattaya and they think, okay, I'll just sit on the beach. Yeah, I'll just sit on the beach for that. Till I, you know, till I die kind of thing and it's like well that's just silly because within two months of sitting on a beach drinking pina coladas you'll be bored out your brain trust me okay so you need to find some kind of activities to do and plus you'll go mm, your mental health will just go through the roof so you need to yeah find some kind of activities hobbies friends you know have a, a good social life you know and meet lots of people through all these different activities i'm suggesting and you know try and keep hip fit and healthy and you know eat loads of decent food you know and look after yourself as you get older in retirement because you know it, it's all downhill after 50 that's what they say uh, but it doesn't have to be you can get you can get a lot better after 50 uh, you know if you get 
good food in you and you look after your body and you keep your mental health good, you know, you keep your stress down by doing all these different activities. Uh, yeah, and so hopefully this has helped you out a little bit, guys. I, I know it's a, it's a, a tricky one when you get older. It's, you know, you have lots of, uh, you get more, more stress, I think, and more anxiety as you get older, you get through life. So you've got to do these kind of things to kind of look after your well-being, your mental well-being, your physical well-being. Uh, and, and the three things are super important as each other, you know, the, the good diet, the, you know, lots of good exercise or, you know, physical activity. And, you know, plenty of sleep is super important as well as you're getting a bit older. And one thing I forgot to mention actually is like some kind of uh, stretching routine, some kind of stretching and mobility because a lot of guys as they get older, you'll notice yourself, you know, as soon as you get past about 35, you know, you try to touch your toes if you don't regulate exercise or stretch, you know, and not many guys can, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, you, you need to do some kind of, you know, stretching mobilities. I mean, I mean, yoga's great, but uh, not everyone's into that, you know, uh, but some kind of stretching routine, you know, once a week, just to try and loosen your joints up a little bit, to keep them a bit flexible. Uh, because as you get older, everything starts seizing up, trust me. <laughs> uh, and you probably know already if you're 50, 60, you know, your body starts to decline if you don't look after it. Uh, if you sit on the beach just drinking beer all day or in the bars drinking beer all day, trust me, your body will just start to shut down. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's, hopefully it's helped you out a little bit and you know, a bit of fun as well, you know, not too serious. I just giving you some advice, things you can do maybe when you come to uh, Wai Hin uh, to look after yourself. Because I see, I see a lot of people in Thailand when I go to, you know, some of the tourist areas, because I mean, I don't live in the tourist areas, but I see a lot of guys, you know, sitting in the bars in Pattaya in Wai Hin, you know, and I, I just look at them and I think, you know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting there drinking a Chang and a Leo and I'm like, yeah, maybe you could be doing something maybe better with your life, mate, you know? <laughs> it's, you know, you're not gonna last that long if you're sitting in the bar all day, like, you know? And I think, you know, most of them won't last that long doing that. That's why I try to give you, you know, lots of different ideas, of different things you can do when you come here to retire, not just sit in the bars all the time. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.